Hey all, welcome back to Caveman Mining. I hope everyone is well and having a great day. On today's video, I wanted to cover for you another light hash rate topic. And today's topic is going to be specifically around dual mining. Now we did this uh, subject back about a month, uh, about two months ago, and we covered the T-Rex miner and whether or not dual mining is more profitable than single mining Ethereum. And with the recent release of T-Rex Miner 0.24.7, I wanted to do this again and see how well the card uh, that we have performs, which is a 3060 light hash revision two card against mining Ethereum straight up. You know, diving back into the subject of LHR, for those of you who don't know what this means if you're new to the community or new to mining, GPU mining in general, it stands for light hash rate. And what it is essentially is a limitation or a nerf of the power of the GPU now done through firmware and essentially physical on presence hardware of the card. Now this has been happening or developed since June and its main purpose was to steer or you know deter the miners away from purchasing graphics cards essentially. And the thought with that was gamers would have more of an opportunity to buy cards and we understand that but the reality has been that light hash rate or not miners are still buying cards Guess who's back? and the good thing is you have developers like t-rex miner g miner lol miner just to name a few who have been really the mad scientists to crack or open up the light hash rate unlocks so we've done pretty well and you know focusing back on the subject at hand here we want to see what this quote unquote full light hash rate unlock does and is it more profitable than mining ethereum straight up so without further ado the first thing i want to show you guys is in hive os we have our 3060 light hash revision 2 card cranking away on ethereum it is doing it straight up at the moment and i just wanted to share with you guys the hash rates and the power consumption so if you look here in the software we're pulling 36.75 now we are using t-rex minor 0.24.7 and uh, let's go ahead and open up the hive shell just to see what we get, you know, kind of live here for hash rates and take a look at that. Pretty impressive. We are like smashing into the 37 and a half range, 37.48, 37.04, 36, high 36, uh, 37.54, 36.91, and a 36.88 in terms of hash rate. So I would say we've broken the mold in terms of 37 mega hash. Now, we did add a little bit more juice to the card here. Uh, so we are pulling, you know, in terms of wattage, a little bit higher than when we did this in Windows. I've got it about 130 watts in the software. And if we look at the wall right now, we are pulling about 172-ish watts, um, which is slightly more, you know, aggressive or powerful than we, we were doing in Windows on our test bench. But let's let's use this as an earmark in terms of profitability. Let's see what this does. Let's let's use the prospect of we're gonna say 37 mega hash. Let's just say 3725 because we've pretty consistently been over the 37 mark and we'll say a hundred and third let's we'll do it at the wall so we're going to say 172 watts uh let's go ahead and calculate that is going to be two dollars and 25 cents after the cost of electricity for ethereum 
Now, the first thing we want to do is pit this against dual mining. And what we're going to do next is we're going to take a quick pause, we're going to edit, and we're going to throw us back into the arena with Ravencoin and Ethereum. So we'll do that right now and we'll get the results for you in just a second. Okay guys, so we are back in the miner and we have kicked off the first dual mining algorithm. And the first thing we're doing here is Ethereum and Autolycos 2, which is Ergo. So essentially what we have here is T-Rex miner and we have the release notes on the left hand side showing you for this to work properly uh, for the 3060 to get or achieve somewhere in the realm of you know these statistics which they say 12 and a half mega hash on Ethereum and about 74 and a half on Autolycos um, we need to lock the core uh, clock at uh, 1250 and the memory should be for hive os 2600 so we're bouncing a little bit in terms of hash rate here but uh, not super far off in terms of the stated hash rates so you can see we just pulled 11.07 on ethereum and 78.46 on ergo so we're gonna wait for another hash rate to uh, kick in here to just see if we can kind of get a little bit more steady in terms of hash rate but if we take a look over at the wall we are about 130 watts ish so not too crazy in terms of leveraging the power you could see we got the ethereum hash rate up a little bit there at 12.61 autolycos ergo at 73.91 so not too shabby what i wanted to show you guys here is let's just go ahead and plug in some numbers we'll just say uh 13 we'll say 74 for um uh ergo so the first thing we'll do is we're going to do this separately because we can't really uh, combine so we'll keep the calculator at bay here so we'll just say 13 mega hash at we said 133 watts so we'll calculate what that is for it on the ethereum side and obviously it's going to be way down there so 61 cents so let's keep that in mind so 0 0.61 plus and we said about 74 for uh, auto lycos so we'll go ahead and put that in at 133 watts and let's take a look what we get uh, we get a dollar and 26 cents plus one dollar point two six one dollar and 87 cents so in terms of that profitability we were about about two dollars and 25 cents after co cost of electricity which is straight up Ethereum. So we are short in terms of the dual mining for Ethereum and Ergo being more profitable than Ethereum on this light hash rate card. So interesting stats there. I think we're a little bit closer than the last time we ran this test, but still I'm not blown away by these numbers. Um, and what I would really like to test next is Ethereum and Raven just to see does that do any better and we have the arguments and stuff plugged in here so i'm going to do a quick cut and then we're going to check the stats on raven and ethereum in just a second all right guys so we are running the last test in terms of hash rate and profitability we are running ethereum and raven together as dual mining and we're doing okay not great uh, in terms of the hash rate so we've got 13.69 uh, and 12.21, 12.06, and 12.72 for uh, hash rates. Uh, one, one thing I will say at the wall, it's definitely a little bit more steady um, in terms of wattage. So we're running a pretty consistent 
140 watts, 139 watts at the wall. So, um, you know, that's something that uh, we can kind of pay attention to a little bit as we go here. Uh, but hash rate, let's go ahead and plug something in here for profitability. We're going to just say, we'll just say 13 and 13 just to be kind of up there. So we'll say 13 at 140 watts uh, for Ethereum. And we're going to bring out our trusty calculator again. And we have to be $2.25. So with, uh, with Ethereum, we have... 60 cents okay so we're gonna have that in there and we're gonna plug in the same for kapow so we'll just say 13 at 140 watts We're probably gonna be around the actually a dollar and two cents so a dollar and 62 cents so even less profitable than the ergo and ethereum combination so yeah not great not great in terms of profitability trying to beat out the ethereum mining sheer straight up mining so yeah i still you know i've seen people running these 3060 ti cards 3070s and 3080 ti cards uh, for lhr and actually getting more profitability than ethereum straight up but it just doesn't seem to hold true for the 3060 card especially this light hash revision 2 cards now i have not seen a lot of people testing these out using the dual mining so this is my conclusion uh, i will leave uh, in the description the overclocks that i used um, it pretty much matches what we have on the release notes uh, site here in terms of uh, wattage and uh, core clock and um, memory um, the other thing we'll do is leave the combination of the flight sheets I won't go too much into detail because I don't want to make this video too long but uh, understanding these flight sheets have a special uh, argument uh, extra arguments that you need to plug into your um, uh, config file here so you can see ethereum is the primary algorithm and then in your extra arguments you plug in your uh, worker your coin the uh, secondary algorithm that you want to mine and the wallet and all of that fun stuff so i'll leave that in the description for those who are interested in how that looks or interfaces with hive os but yeah guys also let me know does anyone out there have a 3060 that they're dual mining on and is it more profitable than mining ethereum straight up i would be curious to know if it is what type of clocks are you running are you deviating from the release notes for the dual mining are you doing your own thing or uh, are you getting the same results as me but as always if you like this video hit that thumbs up and smash that subscribe button to keep us flowing and going here and yeah we'll be back soon to do some more fun videos and with that said guys i hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day we'll see you next time take care